problem 1244 from the fundamentals of the chapter 12. If you hear some crunching, it's just me eating ice uh, cereal. Um, but let's get on with this. So we're in the last of these problems, the absolute relative motion between two uh, particles or whatever. right? So uh, they're giving us a tougher one here because they're giving us one that has two strings. Okay, so we have this string here okay and then we have let's put this one in green and we have this string so two ropes two strings equals two equations right so we're gonna have a system of equations right and then we're gonna set our axis or datum sorry datum plane over here right and um, our coordinate system is we're gonna be using up is y, or positive y is up, positive x is to the right. Okay, my 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 old my professors were old school. They always made us uh, always put the coordinate system. So I'm used to that. Um, good habit. So, anyways, let's see. So let's begin focusing on the blue string. All right. So I have, you know, I have uh, this these points, right? And I'm kind of, those are the points that I'm kind of, um, that I need to take into account. All right, those are the points that are going to be moving up and down, up and down. Okay. And this one, I guess, will too. So here, I'm going to say that this is LD, this distance LD. Okay. Um, again, focusing on the blue string. I'm gonna this distance here, the middle part of the blue string is gonna be. Um, let's let's just write it out. So we have LD, right? Then we have LD minus LC. Okay, so we have LD. Sorry, it's a little messy, but yeah, LD over here. Just follow my my cursor minus LC will give me the leftover string right here in the middle. Okay, it'll give me this part. Okay, are you, are you guys following me? Hopefully you guys do. Let me do that again real quick. So I have, this is LD, and I just take away LC. Okay, I take away LC, which is right here, and I'm left over with just this part of the blue string. Okay, so let's go back. So we have plus LD minus LC. Okay, there's the first part, second part of the string. And then the last part of the blue string that I kind of deleted, right? We have L A minus L C. Okay. So again, it's going to be Um, we're taking into account uh, this point, so this is this is L A, right? We're not gonna call it L D because as A drops down here, L D is gonna change. So we can't say L D is equal to L A. All right. So we have to just say okay, length length A minus length C will end up giving me this part of the rope, okay? So that's L A minus L C. Again, these are these are kind of difficult. You guys will probably maybe have one thrown into your test, but overall, professors just kind of just want to throw one out just to give you a curveball. Equals L one, like I had here. Okay, there's our first equation. 
first equation. Second one is L2. L2, so let's, um, oh yeah, so I have it there in green. Okay, so the first part of the green, the green rope, the left hand side, again, that's going to be LD. Okay, so it's going to be LD plus LC plus LC. Okay, I guess we don't need to do anything with it. That's just equation two. So second equation and of course when we have two equations you know you have to sort of uh, use substitution at one point that's what the, that's kind of the, one of the main reasons why they do it to us so let's take one partial derivative sorry one time derivative so let's take the time derivative of the first equation okay so this is l1 prime right so l1 is constant so it's zero equals um, oops, that would be VD, right, plus VD minus VC plus VA minus VC equals zero, okay? And from the second equation, right, so let's do L2 prime. L2 is constant, like we've done in the other problems, so it's going to be zero equals VD plus VC. Okay, so now here we can say VC is equal to minus VD. All right, and then if we simplify the top equation, we have uh, 2 VD minus, oh, that's minus 2 VC, minus 2 VC plus VA equals zero. So now we're gonna, you know, plug it into this equation right there. This results in two VD minus the well, minus two, plug in the minus VD in there, plus VA. And then we have uh, 4VD equals VA, uh, that's a negative VA, okay, and then 4VD, remember they gave us that VA is going down 4 feet per second, so it's going to be, ends up being minus minus, right, because we said the positive Y is going up, negative Y is going down. This results in VD being one feet per second, one foot per second. Okay, and that's it, and that's what they wanted. Okay, and yeah, so it's it's a bit tricky. It's just a matter of uh, setting your datum and then beginning to. Um, take into account the positions uh, of a point in that part of the string. Okay, so I, you know, it's, for this case, it was like this length plus this little bit of length plus this little bit of length. So you just gotta do some like geometry or, you know, um, simple math to, to figure out your, your problem. One thing that also helps is leaving your equations in terms of Variables don't plug in any numbers in the beginning. Just wait till the very end That helps you simplify stuff especially once you get to like fluid mechanics um, mechanics of materials and you have a bunch of like I don't know I's and I X X's and uh, E's Bulk moduluses rows densities, you know, so try to get into the habit of this just leaving in variables If you're doing the engineering physics route again same thing Get used to variables since most of your physics equations, once you pass your introductory physics, is just going to end up being all variables. What's your answer? 4GH, M1, M2, whatever. Right? Alright, guys. 
hopefully this helped you guys out. This is probably the, the, the most challenging problem. Review it. Try to go through your the book and look for specific ones that are similar to this one so you can keep practicing. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just comment down below. I'll be happy to help. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.